What's up, everybody? This is Steve D'Elia, content director at Youth One, here with Youth One football editor Ryan Oliver. And we're here today to give you a quick spotlight preview of the Freshman 450. It's a comprehensive list of the top 450 freshman athletes in the country. This year, it's for the class of 2024. And Ryan Oliver is the man who puts the list together. He's chosen five athletes for us to spotlight. Let's get right into it. Darius Curry is the first athlete you've chosen. He's a quarterback. He's got offers from a bunch of D1 schools. Tell us a little bit about him and why the country needs to know about him. Yeah, so Darius Curry is an athlete that came on my radar pretty late in the process last year of doing the Elite 101. I kind of had the list already together, and I was doing my due diligence. Um, he's from the state of California. I found his tape, honestly, on YouTube, and I was like, oh, okay, this, this guy has, has some game. He plays for the OG Ducks, which is like a legendary youth football team um, mm. in California. So I, I saw his film, immediately moved him to the top five uh, on our Elite 101. He has offers from places like LSU and a couple other big places, too, um, Ole Miss, places like that. He's just a, a big quarterback with a lot of talent, has a great throwing arm. Um, he, he's mobile. He, speed isn't his number one attribute, but he has a great presence in the pocket. But if he, if the play breaks down, he'll make plays on the ground with his leg, but it's really his arm talent, Steve, that makes him stand out. Uh, he's one of the top quarterbacks in the class. One of, one of these guys that you look at and you're saying, okay, in a few years, he's going to be playing big D one ball, uh, and he's going to make some college uh, football program really happy. Awesome. That's Darius Curry. Uh, you know, these quarterbacks, when you get to high school, uh, the difference between the top elite guys is often very small. It comes down to who can make those plays. And when you play for these really competitive teams in these competitive high schools, uh, freshman quarterback often faces a lot of challenges. But it seems like Curry's not going to have too much trouble stepping right in as he becomes an upperclassman and uh, continues on his college recruiting journey. Absolutely. Next up. Next up, we've got uh, Rod Ganey. Now, uh, people who follow Youth One are going to recognize that name because you gave him the ultimate commendation last year. You listed him number one on the Elite 101. He's a stellar running back. Tell everybody about him. Rod Ganey is just, just a, he a heck of a talent. Um, he's one of the most athletic youth football players I've seen. He's one of these guys who just, when you pop on the tape, he just shines. I mean, he, he, he's really fast. He's dynamic in the open field with the ball. Literally, he's a type of athlete, especially in, in youth football, that you just run whatever play is to give him the ball in any type of open space. And he'll make an average offensive line look really good because he, hit, he finds the hole when it's not there and the play breaks down. He, he, he'll turn something into nothing. If he gets in the open field, he's gone. He's just one of these guys who – Sometimes you just put on film, Steve, and you say, okay, this guy's immediately a top five athlete in the class. And based on what I've seen the past couple of years, he's, uh, if not the top athlete in the 2024 class, he's in the top five. Um, but he's one of the, the more impressive youth athletes that I've seen. And a guy that uh, if you look at the film from his freshman year, uh, he, he's backing up our, our uh, number one ranking we gave him last year. He, he's a really, really impressive talent from Florida. Yeah, when you brought him to my attention last year and you sent me the highlight tape and I checked it out, I was I was blown away. Yeah. And this year with his upgraded film, he's doing the same stuff against high school competition. Yeah. Uh, this guy is just absolutely incredible. Rod Ganey from Florida. Uh, next up, we got uh, Jeremiah Beasley. He's another running back. Um, he's got three D1 offers. Uh, tell us all about him. Yeah, so Jeremiah Beasley is uh, one of these athletes from Michigan. We actually had three athletes from Michigan that were in our top I believe 40 or so athletes um, on last year's Elite 101 rankings, which is which is weird for a state like Michigan, just quite frankly, to have yeah. that many top athletes in our, on our Elite 101. But he's a guy, he's a 6'1", 200-pound running back. And he's, I mean, he's really big for a running back, yeah. especially a youth running back. He was that size as an eighth grader. He's grown about an inch or two. So he's like maybe 5'11 in eighth grade. He's grown a couple inches since eighth grade. And he's just big and he's fast. And it, once he gets ahead of steam going downhill, you're not going to bring him down. He has really long strides, but don't get it confused because he's, uh, he's like Derrick Henry. They play differently. But what I mean is that don't, don't think just because he's big, he can't break away mm. because if he gets a step on you, he's gone. He has very long strides. Um, he's just one of these guys. He has three offers. He's very talented. Uh, and he's a guy that again, is going to make some D one program really happy because 
he's the type of guy you want on your team. He's just a good, a good locker room guy, but he has amazing talent. Awesome. Yeah. And uh, a lot of the times when you look at the younger guys, you can see the talent there, but you're not sure if the size is going to sustain or if they're going to grow into themselves or what you would imagine for a D1 prospect. Uh, Jeremiah Beasley was already that when he was 12, 13 years old. So no worries there for any college pursuing him. He's certainly not going to shrink. Um, and you exactly. got a great stellar talent with that D1 size already. Uh, you got another running back slash athlete for us to talk about is Stacy Gage. Tell us a little bit about him. We're really excited about him. Okay, so Stacy Stacy Gage is one of these guys that's kind of in the same dynamic as Rod Ganey, uh, one of the more athletic athletes I've ever I've ever seen in my time covering youth football, which is about five or six years now. So he's just he's just really talented with the ball in his hands. I mean, that's the best way I can describe it. Teams uh, give him the ball in open space. He's an athlete, so he can he plays mainly running back, but he can line up at receiver and make plays. He's a heck of a tackler on defense. He plays both uh, defensive back. He can play corner, safety, um, linebacker. He's just one of these guys. Uh, Florida just kind of – they just – they're just out there like flies in Florida, you know, just these yep. great talents. <laughs> and they have great speed. And Gage is, is a guy who – I don't know how he doesn't have more of like a, a national following because I, I look at him like, oh, yeah, well, this is a top – 15 talent in the class and a guy that I'm really excited to follow into the future. Yeah, well, you're giving him that uh, exposure now on the national stage. I'm sure after people see him in the freshman 450, he's going to start opening some eyes. And that's another guy you talk about size for an athlete. Sometimes you're looking at some guys who are maybe undersized and they, they're forced to you know not play the position they would prefer because they just didn't grow into that position. He's 5'10", 196. He could play literally almost any position as a freshman that you want. He's still got time to grow. And like you said, he's got the talent there. I mean, everybody needs to know who this kid is. I'm, I'm sure down locally they do in Florida, but you're definitely bringing him to the national spotlight here. Hey, hey, uh, see, to that point, I'm glad you mentioned his size. The size is what allows him to play multiple positions because he can play mm -hmm. linebacker and defensive back and safety and running back and, and wide receiver because he can do everything. He has great hands too. I don't want to uh, fail to mention that. And Steve, he has an offer from Wisconsin, too. So I didn't want to forget his offer. He has an offer on the table. Colleges are, you know, he's on their radar. But in terms of some of the national scouting places, we're the, we're the only one giving him that top tier spotlight. He was a top 15 athlete on our Elite 101. We got our last athlete to talk about now. It's linebacker Kari Jackson. Tell uh, the country why they need to hear about him, Ryan. Kari Jackson's uh, maybe my favorite linebacker prospect in this class. Another athlete wow. from, from Michigan. He's... 6'1", 215. He's a freshman playing on varsity. He was a UA Next All-American. He's a difference maker, plain and simple. He plays hard. He plays rugged, but he's the nicest guy off the field. But he's the type of guy you want leading your defense, the type of guy you want leading your locker room. But he has elite talent. He's going to make plays. If you, He's one of these guys that just like commands the middle. Uh, he hmm. plays middle linebacker, can play outside too, but he plays middle linebacker, leads the defense. It's going to make plays. He's just in – he's in the right place at the right time. He's one of those guys that a defensive coordinator, defensive coach, linebacker coach is going to love because he's not going to make mistakes. He's going to make the right read. He has elite instincts, um, and he's really, really, really special in run defense. He's, he's really good in pass defense, but he's really special in run defense, and that's really what pops when you turn on the film. A guy from Michigan, and he's, uh, he's really representing for them. All right, that's five athletes, Darius Curry, Rod Ganey, Jeremiah Beasley, Stacey Gage, and Kari Jackson. Just a little appetizer for you for the freshman 450. There's still 445 other athletes chosen by Ryan Oliver in the top 450 class of 2024 football players in the country. You can check out the full list at youth1.com. You can get it either from being a premium member and getting access to all of our great benefits, exposure packages, spotlight articles, video interviews with Ryan Oliver himself, or you could just order the list and all of our top prospect reports. And we don't just do the freshman 450. We have four top prospect reports that we do. We have the Elite 101, Ryan Oliver's rankings of the top 101 eighth grade football players in the country. The next up watch list, the best seventh grade football players in the country. And this year, our first year, we're doing the sophomore spotlight 200. 
the top 200 sophomores in the country. Go to youthone.com, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, check us out and like us on Facebook. Be sure to check out all these lists, youthone.com is where you go to find the best prospects in football. Ryan Oliver, thanks for breaking down these athletes with us. Everybody, we will see you soon.